historically, this goes back to the 70s, I think it was. It might have been the early 80s when the length of floss line um, studies were, were done nationally. And four out of five um, dentists recommend 17 inches was the proper length. The flossing industry um, uh, resisted publishing those results because they they discovered by habit um most folks pull out more than 17 inches they pull out you know 18 20 22 something like that and so per floss they were able to sell more floss because folks would go through more than the recommended 17 inches um you know just oblivious to the fact that 17 inches was the was the right amount so they suppressed that um and uh they they wound up uh there was this huge lawsuit between um 80 percent of the dentists in in america and the flossing industry over whether to be able to publish this or not and um so then then 20% of the dentists started making those little floss tapes and those little, you know, D-shaped things. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's quite an internecine rivalry between dentists. 20% uh, 20, 20 of, of uh, dentists across America are, make money off of those little, little tiny flossers. And the rest are making money off 17-inch um uh, schools. So here's a, to your point.